idea and you haven't put it into action and you're wondering why no one is definitely that's one thing I can't stand for you don't get celebrated for not doing the thing because that is the only thing that will mess anything up the whole point is everybody has to put in work on production so get to creating get to creating so we can all go into the future because that's all it takes to go to the future for us to make it. That's what we're all about. That's what this whole thing is to inspire you to understand. Five Anything years. we want. Five Space. Years. Flying cars. A cell phone that walks next to you down the street. A new kind of TV show that helps you heal from a certain type of Mindset that's not productive. All of these things could be at our fingertips. All my friends are CEOs, hidden tigers on their toes. All my friends are CEOs, hidden tigers on their toes. All my friends are CEOs, hidden tigers on their toes. Woke up in the boardroom, and it looked like a monsoon. We had skyscrapers in the plans, and a factory in Japan. Okay. What is up? You guys, welcome to the 2021 Creator Awards. This is the fifth annual Creator Awards. The Creator Awards was one of the first creations along with Project 4, the media company. This is the fifth one and it's a pleasure to be able to bring to you guys why why the creator awards because um there's people out there who are creating great stuff creating great media and creativity is what all of this stuff runs off of so we want uh so so it was only right that in order to and also as a media strategy it was only right to honor these people but also as a media strategy you want to be a media company it's important for you to have your way of connecting and um, doing shows naturally led to the awareness that celebrating these creators, especially in a paradigm where they feel like some of the celebrations are far off. Did I make it? Never made it. I'm like, no, no, no. You've made it. If you didn't feel like it, it's because you didn't get the celebration. So we're doing the celebration. Here are their creator awards for, for, for 2021. We got the nominees. If you want to get the nominees, go to www.creatorawards.org. Thank you so much for watching. I am your host, Kenyo, and I got my co-host with me, Mr. Composition, the rapper, the entrepreneur. Um, recently featured in major publications in his business right now. He's looking at his stats right now. New releases, new drops, and they're all getting traffic, and he's trafficking them hard. How's it going, my guy? Man, it is good. 2021, it is good to be here creating. Like, it's just, it's really now getting to a point where it's embodying, like, being able to sit with the technology like it's been here but it's like you've been sitting with it and then it's like you get it's like having your phone and then you realize that there's this really dope helpful app on there that you didn't even know that was on there that that's what's going on right now it's like all this technology is helpful and in 2021 creation right now and being able to get it out it's just the, it's the thing right now. So I'm excited to be a part of the celebration mm. of creators, and local we are, creators. We are happy to have Dab Troll Creations on board. Please, you guys, go to www.dabtroll.com to check out the the masterful media universe um, that this that this uh, that this this collaborator of mine is creating. This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Deep, meticulous um, creativity that's going on. Not only that, but there's products you can get, and there's music books. Come on, you guys. Um, and then that's not even to talk of everything you're doing. Other than that, you know, with the um, the Texas CD Fair and Black Writers of San Antonio. So go over to www.dabtroll.com to get into the universe um, that he's creating over there. Um, it's it's a privilege to to collaborate and. Um, 
you know, uh, as an artist myself um, at www.kenyo.org, which you can go check out um, as well. I love to create, and um, so it's only natural that I would um, enjoy collaborating with a creative person who does the same things um, on the same levels that I do, and we've been able to do great stuff like the expansion. You can go look at the expansion on Project Forward. TV and go to Project Forward TV so you can learn all about the universe of Project Forward and all the media that's being created there. You can hang out there on a, on a Saturday afternoon. You're relaxing. You're saying to yourself, "I have a nice cup of tea. <laughs> what would make this cup of tea better? Let me throw some. Let me throw some organic. Organic. I like my tea organic. Maybe I like my media organic. Throw some organic media on the YouTube. Just double. I know. I know. There's a bunch of chaos going on. Cut that out. Throw on the organic media. See how it makes you feel. Um, let's get it going, guys. We're doing the Creator Awards. My this man. is no joke. This is. This if is you weren't hyped before, that's because you were in the intro. Now you're in the Creator Awards. So this is the 2021 Creator uh, um, Awards. We're gonna we're gonna go straight into it. First category: Business. Our nominees: None other than Kevin Prince, <laughs> aka Mr. Composition, Angie K. Boom. Gary B. Uh, um, <clears throat> and then, we'll name his first name, Alex. But he runs the shop, Bobalicious. And then Christian Davis. Alex Acosta, I believe. I didn't have his name on the nominee thing there. Forgive me, Alex. But I put your whole business in the nominee category. No one else got their actual business shouted out. So there you go. Um, Kevin Prince, Angie K, Gary V. Alex. I'm, I'm actually just saying that he's just going to be Alex from now on. <laughs> kind of like how I'm Kenyo, he's Alex. Because, anyway, he'll like it. And Christian Davis. Um, so, uh, this is the only category I'm going to take a little bit of time on so you guys can kind of see the process of how this is going to go down. Um, these, these, these people are all um, really dope people. And when you think of business, um, I think it's important to highlight those people who, in these in this last year of 2020, um, they pivoted, they innovated, um, and they were resilient. And then also the independence of that creativity. Um, and so, um, when you think of, of business and creative business, what do you think? I mean, you're you're you've won this award before, um, well, or brand of the year. Mm -hmm. so they've had, it's gone under different titles, but now it's um, the, the, the business. Um, so when you think of a creative business, what do you think? Man, I think of literally a business that is able to, like an artist who is able to run their creative passions like a business. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the thing. It's, I wouldn't say it's plug and play, but it's just all like when you understand money in business as an artist and setting up your stuff whether your poetry your music mm -hmm. your books once you get into setting it up as a business then all you're doing is feeding that because you're an artist because you get to make unlimited stuff exactly. you know so it's just all like being a business <clears throat> and being able to embody that being a creator yeah. And then being able to execute as a business, your, your creations as a business, that's that's what I think. Exactly. You know, and I had an input also from, because from, I sent this out, this was voted on by the UICA, which is really just a collective of creators that I collaborate with the most, and then other people as I meet them, which you can also see on Kenyo.org. So I did get some feedback um, from them as well. But I like this because I get to be very transparent. Well, even though I can cut out whatever I want, I can be very transparent about the, um, the way that these kind of get selected, which is um, intentionally. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, uh, by, by me, I guess, it is kind of just me, but I do take input. I do take input, so it's not just me. But the, the business winner this year it's gonna be Angie K. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Ooh, 
definitely you know, deserves it. You know what's it. cool? Because, like, in Oscars, you always get, they, they do, like, the winner, and then they'll show, like, the loo- like the next one up. I've never been able to do that before, but now I got a literal, because <laughs> he was nominated. So I'm going to go back and put your reaction to hearing that, because he didn't know. I'm going to put it in slow motion. I when figured. He like, I, ah, I, right. Mm, the quick microaggression that's going <laughs> to pop up on your face is going to be great. But you know that's so cool. anyway. Oh, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, no. Like you said, she completely deserves it, and it could have e- easily been anyone. Obviously, in this category, Gary Vee was freaking in this category, and he deserves it. Obviously, for Married on Top of America, Kevin, um, you know, growing the CBD business, and then Alex, you know, pivoting his business, um, and you know, the media business also with Kevin, and then Christian Davis, um, what he's been able to do in business in LA. And getting into a new space, I think NGK, you really, you really took it for the the, the level of new manifestation. That's yeah. what I'm gonna say. You know, getting a bookstore going, a bookstore no less, mm-hmm. in the time of the pandemic and what that does for a community. What I that think, says for a yeah. community of people who are still reading books. Mm-hmm. Who are still taking this in that a bookstore can not only open up during the middle of a pandemic, but thrive. It's amazing. It's amazing. So um, with all the award winners, we're going to, one, you get a, a, a pre-roll from from Dab Troll. So um, the Composition Wellness Solutions, one of the brands over in the Dab Troll house. Go check that out. Uh, you're going to get a pre-roll, and it's going to be delivered to you or shipped to you for free. So that's going to be good. And then also you're going to be listed on the main site of Creator Awards on the side panel. If you go to creatorawards.org, it's going to, on the side panel, it's going to be all these businesses listed for a year. So hopefully that gets you more attention and helps you grow more as you continue to create media and grow your business. Boom. Now we're just going to run through all these. Now we're just going to run through all this. That was the real emotion. Yeah, like yeah, in the yeah. pool, I feel like that was so cool. And now you guys kind of know what's going on here, why we're doing this. So album. We got Legacy City, um, Benny Guajardo, Rodney Perkins, Black Thought Nas. Who do you think's taking taking album? Nas. It is Nas. Nas. <laughs> uh, see, I, I, that's why I knew because it, it was so obvious in that one. Obviously, everyone did a great job in that category. Check those people out. Um, Nas killed it, though. So, single. Um, we got Mr. Composition, uh, Empty the Realist, Mariah, Abby Wright, and Nas again in this category. Who do you think is taking this one? We'll see how good you are at, at guessing some of these. Um, I am think I'm going to go with Nas again, honestly. It's Mr. Composition, you oh, guys. Shit. That's right. I Mr. Was Composition, to be a one boy. out. There's, there's inputs, and you know what? With Snowden, you know, you launching that after your career. We've been in music for such a long time. You were getting write ups back then in articles, performing globally on national huge acts, and then you know to come back in on such a poignant moment and to be able to drop snowed in and get the coverage for it, you know, after being on the news for everything else, you just saw this consistency of level of intensity and snowed in really capped it off. Not to mention some of the other singles you did, so it makes sense. Um, book, um, we have Luana Chambers Watson, uh, Taja Revor, Lang Leave, Shay Serrano, Barack Obama. Who do you think took that one? Uh, I would say my my whole girl ties, but maybe Barack did it. I don't know. So it's that was a hard one. one. Okay, Lawson. And yes, Taj, like yes, those are great. Why? Why? Say a couple things for. for well, I, I, I honestly, Barack. the I was gonna go a lot. I just did it. You haven't checked I, it out yet. Yeah, so you know. Luana, she did a great um, book called. Um, it's a it's a it's a master's guide on how to do grant writing. Oh, and that's you know, as far awesome. as what that does for the, you know, because books are just in, great in general. I don't care what it is, you know, and, and that's why you know, educate one of the first word. There's a lot of writing culture and what a creative community has. Um, but you know, for her to take, she she's an intelligent, you know, um, woman, and for her to take that time to create this guide for people, you know, there's gonna be people getting setting up whole exactly. lifestyles based off of that book and that's such a great thing for her to do and we'll see her create her journey so anyway um but yeah taj obviously you know with the uh 
the the, the beautiful art from a, an amazing black artist and her being and she might win it for twenty twenty one. Honestly, she might, she might, she <laughs> might, and you know, she, you're not leaving. We're talking about you almost longer anyway. So, and then Barack Obama, obviously, so cool. So, writer, we got Weston L. Collins, James Clear, Mecca Udo. Um, who do you have? Weston. Weston, yes, it is. It is Weston L. Collins. Um, who's gonna take that? He just launched a new book. He's so consistent. Like he is like the San Antonio, like Stephen King. Honestly, like that's a big compliment. Not because I know that you don't like Stephen. Like, like not that you don't <laughs> like him, but I know you know. But I'm saying that as a writer to writer, and how consistent you know Stephen King is. Like that's yeah. I'm a big fan of consistency because I myself have trouble with consistency. So to and know he someone has a here, book out, so that's coming from. From psychological thriller <laughs> author independently published and I I can't believe that I don't have a fiction book out so I know the fact that you had multiple ones out that's that's big big deal stuff it's a real commitment to yourself um, commitment to creativity to and creativity. the trust yeah. in and confidence in your stuff to be able to continuously show up to mm-hmm. even put your 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 imagination out there you know I'd rather know if it's not recording than not know. No, no, um, no. Okay, let's go into event. Um, so we got Giovanni uh, Huerta, we got Comitria Ballard, and then we got Julian. Um, oh, I'm sorry, then we got DC Youngfly. Um, uh, who's repping for go with Gio. Gio, that's good. It is Comitria, though. It's oh, okay. Comitria yeah. Ballard, which, which is cool. Gio definitely. Um, your contribution to the whole thing, like that's why we had to mention you to the whole event scene. Almost, I'm you kept it on your back for for the for the thing. And what's funny is Kamitria's event was at your location, and um, the fact that she because she really came in at a good time and her commitment to safety and health, and then um, you know bringing people in and then really going there with the hybrid event. I don't know mm-hmm. if I really saw that executed better yeah. than that. I was. So Super duper impressed by mm-hmm. that. That was that was something else. Um, and she powered the whole thing. Was, right. Cr- that was creator power. Yeah, man. that was legit. Like, yeah, <laughs> no, no. I yeah. So everybody get a round of applause again. Woo! Every time right. I see a creator do that, I just know because I can feel right. the thing. Because you know, as a creator, when you create an event, whoo, that's a thing. Um, and I can feel it. So, um, producer Jania Moore, Tony Polanco, um, Julian Uribe. Um, Who would you guess? Uh, I'm going to go with Jania, even though Tony, man, like, uh, Tony Tony's got the. <laughs> as far as up and coming, just, you know, just shot up and the history, too, and everything he's done in New York, so amazing. Um, Julian Uribe, some New York with us that probably no one would see, but he got the nod. And, um,. I mean, you've seen it, maybe. No, you probably haven't, but you might in the future. And then, um, Jania Moore, though. Yeah, you you, you took it. It's Jania Moore. Um, everything you did with Save Dover Success really dropped some good stuff, and you're really powering away at such an inspiring niche. It's, it's, um, it's, it's, um, it's, it's amazing. Uh, and you're also my producer, so I don't want to give <laughs> Director um, Tony Polanco, Roy um, Aguilon, uh, Zack Snyder, King Bigger. Who do you think's taking it? Oh man, uh, man. See, Roy, Roy is very dope, man. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna give it to Roy only because, like, for one. Anytime that it's a trip, whenever you as a creator hear from other creators that like. And they're killing it, and they're just all like, but like I'm, I was inspired by what you're doing, and I'm just all like, what? Like, no, like no, and it's just all like, I almost feel like for me personally, it's almost like this, this like disability that I'm like almost unable to see like what it is that I do. So it's over, it's always surprising, but seeing the execution, him having the Carpenter's Apprentice for that long, and then doing the event. That was a part of that was super dope, you know, and to see what he's continued to do and pivot and what he does for the community. I don't even know if he won, but I'm just saying, like, that's yeah, literally yeah, yeah. how 
should like be like yours, or should it be like a whole like award that some people might like your awards better. Than <laughs> but that's even cooler. I like that. So yeah, so super shout out to Roy Ant and uh, everyone in the category is killing it. But it's Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder's taking it. And I'm happy to announce this is in the soul. Wait, opinion. was this for the I Justice just, League? This is for the Justice Man! League. Man! I'm, 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 I'm sorry. It wasn't this wasn't even just me on this one. So let's keep going. Let's keep going. Yeah, that was the upset of the year. That was the upset of the year. No, <laughs> right. no, nah, nah, it was stolen. <laughs> We're boycotting the crazy. Zack Snyder took it for 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 <laughs> I, I, I can't I can't I can't make this up. Uh, so film we got uh, Tony Polanco and we got Mark Phillips. Who do you think's taking it? Uh, Mark Phillips. Mark Phillips. Um, yes, is definitely taking it. Tony Polanco, shout out. You got three nominees. Shout out, yeah, for real. Like, <laughs> like, like shout out to Tony. Like, like, that just shows you how prolific he's exactly. been over the last year. Really killing it. Um, but yeah, yeah, Mark Phillips, um, um, killing it. Art with RDC One World. Uh, I hope I said that right. I'm I sorry. always like uh, RDC, they're so RDC, they're like RDC, the RDC, world, yeah. RDC, one world, um, and everything he's doing, amazing stuff. Uh, really, he's, he's like the unseen Tyler Perry. Uh, yeah, he's, he's actually super seen. He's the underground kind of. Um, but anyway, music producer, we got um, Legacy City, Jed Craddock, DJ Catwalk, Carly the Pilot. Man, um, I'm gonna go with Legacy. Legacy, you took it, my G. You've done so much, so many people's work. Shout out Keep to everybody else, win. though. Like, oh yeah, uh, for real, for real. Um, people are getting less and less shout outs as I go. That's why it's good to win. Uh, <laughs> creator, who do you think's taking? We got Jeremy Nolan, Richard Wilmore, Tony Polanco. Ah, see. I'm trying to see. I'm going by what I who I would, but yeah, I'm, that's, I, what I, that's what I that's what for. Okay, yeah, I'm honestly, I, I would I would go for Jeremy, but I feel okay. like it's gonna be Richard. It is Richard. It is Richard. Okay. Shout out to Jeremy. A couple words for Jeremy. Oh man, Jeremy killing it! Like okay, so yeah. shout out to you because I got you on YouTube. Also, I've known you since the seventh grade, and then I see what you're doing on TikTok and Instagram, and your pivot as far as you know doing different things. So just keep on doing it, bro. I see you, man. Boom! And Richard with the Richard Rumo show, um, blowing that up, been blowing it for a while, doing really big collabs, killed it. Um, shout out, shout out, you know, like consistency on the whew, shout out. Um, and then influencer, we got Andre Volkap Sanderson, Elsa Majimo, Zoji, China McLean, is shot where? I'm going with Volkap. It's Andre Volkap Sanderson. <laughs> influencer of the year, shout out. Um, comedian, we got Clifton Simmons, Haha Davis, Country Wayne. I'm going with Clifton Simmons. Clifton Simmons, you did take it indeed. Um, shout out to you, really holding it down in in, um, in in the professionalism of the scene that we see, and just taking it to that next level every single time. And you know, we need we need that. It's not it's it's about we love the t- we're in San Antonio. We love the Tim Duncans. We love Tim Duncans, uh, and that's what you are in comedy. So help, we got Moa, Veronica, Lena, Lino, Coach J, J Alejandro. Janie Terrazas, say hi to. Ooh, who I, do you think's taking it? I am personally going to say with say hi to, but who I think actually got it was Janie. Janie Terrazas? Okay, 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 okay. So between J. Alejandro and Veronica Lino, who would you say would get it? I probably... Dang, man. I mean, so okay, okay. Yes, because, okay, so here's what I'm, these are my predictions. I'm going to say that, I'm going to say that, I'm going to say my choice would be Veronica, but I feel like J. Hell Andro got it. Okay, well, what you did not know, this is a surprise, is yours was not a prediction, it was a selection. It was equally balanced between the two, and in this moment, I, the, the, this was actually one where... Veronica Lino's gonna take it because of that last bit. You're like the the, the house speaker of that. So Veronica Lino, um, take it on that one. Both of you guys, I mean, I can say that you tied, but no, you didn't. Veronica Lino's getting the prize. So um, Veronica Lino, you're taking it. And every, shout out to everyone else in the category. Yes. Um, so Art, we got Kwanzaa Edwards, Gina Battle, Esther Smart, D Tour. Who do you think got it? Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa, you took it. Photography, Paul Harrison, Maricor Soriano. Who would you give it to? 
I would okay, so I I want to give it to Paul, yeah. but I personally like like I've been on Instagram, mm-hmm. and I don't even know who the other dude is um, oh. off the top of my head. Woman, uh, woman. Oops, sorry, that was totally well. It's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, so I but would, it is Paul. So shout okay. out to Paul. Okay, shout out to Mary Park too. Um, yeah. And then product, we got Kevin Prince, Jeannie Moore, uh, Julian Review. Who do you think took it? I'm gonna go with me only because like gotta have that confidence. Yeah, but yeah, no, he he definitely took it. The composition CBD blend with the new labels and the way he's been moving those and the six pack of the iterations, it's amazing. It's inspiring. Um, it's really at the heart of what makes creativity sustainable, and it's such a good example for everybody. It really is because like if you really want freedom from all this stuff that's going on, you have to get to the point of developing a product. And Mr. Composition has executed on that. He got to a certain finish line that all creators truthfully really need to aspire to. Because until you get to that point, there's gonna be the time battle. Um, And once you get to that point with the product, you can start leveraging what's in your head instead of what you can do in a moment. So amazing! Shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out to to Kevin Prince, humanitarian of the year, Steel Poet, Stephen Lucky, um, Zazie Beats, Questlove. Who do you think's taking it? Stephen Lucky. Even though I got a crush on Zaza Beats. So. Yeah, yeah, Zazie Beats. You've been doing some cool stuff on Instagram. You know, just being as known as you are, Stephen Lucky. You definitely deserve what you've done with Cardopia. I just went to. Um, oh, but you're not getting it, Steel Poet. Oh um, man, that, but, that um, completely. <laughs> whoa, whoa, shit. But you know, I just went to uh, the Hemisphere Park and I went to, uh, whatchamacallit, um, the Commonwealth has this garden there. And I was like, let me go check. Because this garden looks a little bit familiar to me in style. And it was a Gardopia garden. Ooh. Um, so Gardopia I don't even and know so, how in see, the world. Well, because Stevens maintained consistency and he's killing it. And if I could get He's always a here. Okay, yeah, yeah. And yeah. He's, he's won this before. <laughs> okay. He's won this before. Um, the, the, the main reason I gave it because I'm just like, on creativity, I feel like that. The, the 210 day aspect of what Steel Poet does is a, is another really key, plus I just wanted to, but also it's a very key component of what creators need to inhabit too. It's like, what is your giving back persona? Yeah. You know, and him focusing himself around like the Mr. 210 day brand and that idea of February 10th, he gives back. Mm-hmm. That is a super duper key when it comes to create creatively using yeah. your creativity to embody the humanitarian aspect of yourself I feel like he is a good example shout out there. to still shout out i'm not taking anything away yeah, bro. I mean, that's why there's yeah. gotta be upset <laughs> like obviously you've, you've won you've won similar awards to this before i think even last year and um there's definitely a hall of fame for you in the future um unquestionably i can just i'm i'm predicting but i'm also just knowing i'm predicting and knowing <laughs> Um, community member of the year, Colin Stagner, Joseph Bancolet, Evelyn Beltran, Cheryl Metal. Who would you give a shout out to? Cheryl Metal. Cheryl Metal. You deserve <laughs> a lot more awards than this. And I think you might have won something in the past as well, but definitely been nominated. Um, Cheryl Metal's doing amazing things. Um, as by being a hip hop, an underground hip hop radio um, host, and also an active, active member of independent and creative media online um one in the project for community she's very active in in the facebook groups and i'm very active on on the instagram pages uh, she's she's been a pleasure to interact with purely socially social media <laughs> and uh you know that is a great community member and just what she does because that is the pioneering right now independent hip-hop radio is still probably one of the most gnarliest places of innovation and creativity. Uh, Composition's been featured on that radio station multiple times, so you know how awesome having a Cheryl medal in your life is in your community. And she, and it's community role. She's never asked for anything. And she's, she's a she, transplant. She just gives. She just gives. She's yeah. a transplant. She came like from somewhere else. And she's from Cali. Giving. From California, she's just given. So she, resident. Julian Uribe, Evelyn Beltran. Wait, what? Uh, resident. 
that's the next one of what R- resident it's uh it's kind of like community member but it's it's a project it's a specific project. i guess i would have to there's no real point in you guessing but it's a project for okay so yeah it's so resident <laughs> sort of thing so julian shout out to you shout out to uh, you killing it um podcast aisha bello carlos miller chris roberts who's taking it Hmm. And I'll tell you up front this time that you're actually choosing the winner. Okay, so what was the podcast again? Aisha Bello. She is a young Nigerian woman who does a podcast called Aproka Vibes where they talk about she won. gossip. You giving it to her? Yep. Okay. Carlos Miller from 85 South. Shout out to Chris Roberts from the Nine Clubs Gay Podcast. Shout out to you guys. Uh, Aisha Bello, Aproka Vibes. You're, you're, you're the winner. So all those winners are going to be featured. Links to their projects. Um, are going to be featured on the sidebar. We thank you so much for continuing to create. This took a lot out of us, so we thank you for watching because that makes it worth it to sit down and do this video. Um, but you know, that was the 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 twenty twenty one Creator Award winners. Now, um, in other news. Um, there's something new that's going to be called the Creator Awards Hall of Fame, which will be um, also featured prominently on the website. You'll see that when it is done. Uh, you can go to creatorawards.com and there's three projects that are um, going to be entered into um, the Creator Awards Hall of Fame. And if you want to see what those three projects are, you will have to stay tuned after our feature entertainment Ding. make sure you post share to hashtag creator awards you go to creatorawards.org you make that a, you make that a, a bookmark make it a bookmark creator awards you don't want to miss out on the next creator awards also if you want to be nominated the easiest way is um to create go ahead and create <laughs> number one and then hit us up in any way at all like you can literally just email us or, or or leave a comment and be like, hey, what's up? Um, but yes, the best way is truthfully to create. Because that's what this has been about more than anything. It's about what, because you know, Project 4 is a media company. It's about what's getting seen. And you can talk about things and you can do, you can say whatever you want. But when it comes to actually getting to these finish lines, that's really the only thing that's going to matter. And those things become visible. So if you have an idea and you haven't put it into action and you're wondering why... No one is definitely, that's one thing I can't stand for. You don't get celebrated for not doing the thing. Because that is the only thing that will mess anything up. The whole point is everybody has to put in work on production. So get to creating. Get to creating so we can all go into the future. Because that's all it takes to go to the future. For us to make it. That's what we're all about. That's what this whole thing is to inspire you to understand. Anything we want. Space. Flying cars. A cell phone that walks next to you down the street. A new kind of TV show that helps you heal from a certain type of mindset that's not productive. All of these things could be at our fingertips if you Our future is your product. Your product is our future. Thank you for watching the 2021 Creator Awards with my uh, host, Mr. Composition. Again, check out the Dab Troll universe. That's a whole nother universe. You're basically seeing DC and Marvel right here. I'm Marvel. Of course. Doesn't matter what day you sky Wake up and look at me A blue sky I feel the rigid by the mile Working hard for a while It doesn't matter if my heart breaks Or I break down on the side of the road And I got numbers I can dial